It's week one of the NFL, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Antlers and the Golden Eagles, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us south of the border to the vibrant capital of Mexico City. Today, our new season begins with an NFC South matchup, as it'll be the Antlers of Buenos Aires and the Mexico City Golden Eagles. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gordon, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kick this one off to get the season underway. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Amir Smith-Marset now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. On second down, Young. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. First down, Antlers. Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. He'll get it up near midfield to the 49 before being taken down. Here's a second and eight. Brings up second and eight. to throw Young. That is caught by Thielen. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. A nice completion there for the first down. And Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team on the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. A give up the middle. Hubbard, four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. That throw by Young incomplete. to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it up to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. The kick by Pinheiro is good. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they'll be led out by a much-discussed third-rounder in last year's draft. The second-year pro out of Cincinnati, Desmond Ritter. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. 
proven leader. Teams went 43 and six while he was in college. Has speed, dual threat ability, and production off the charts while he was in school. And also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Ritter to throw it. Over the middle, caught by London. Seven yards there and a first down. So here in the heart of Mexico, this is a city that's hosted a handful of NFL games before, but now this is a different deal. A relocated franchise moving south of the border, playing here on a permanent basis. And it's going to be exciting times here in the Mexican capital, that's for sure. And really all across this country, they're pumped for this because this will be Mexico's team. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw, Ritter. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Young. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. It's got to feel good to hit on one of these in the first quarter of a brand new season. They're hoping this duo can really make some noise this year. And this is a great start. A big play here early in the ball game. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Young to throw it. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Ebikati. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. He was true on his first. This is a tough one from 49 yards away. And this is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will make it six to nothing. So scores on their first two possessions, but 6-0, so field goal is probably not what they were hoping for. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. Not what they were hoping for, but they should be happy that they have points on the board. It almost feels like that old slow and steady wins the race, doesn't it? In this and all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. No, let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone. <laughs> It's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumble now, great field position. 
Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Young now. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Second and goal from inside the five. Hubbard is not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard down to the three. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Hubbard again. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Chuba Hubbard, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Antlers had six to their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. A drive there of just four plays. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. From his end zone, here comes Patterson. And he returns this to the 22. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. From the 23, here's the second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 23 yard line. Here's Ritter. Flushed out right. And just shutting him off there. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. First and 10 at the 38 yard line. Ritter. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now for getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Ritter will set up to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. He'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown! Mac Hollins, 37 yards. And the Golden Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And there you go, Charles, his first touchdown pass in the new season. Well, let's just go back to his rookie year because he's able to get his feet wet, right? Get a little bit of experience. Now I think here in year two, the game will slow down for him. And we'll see his true talents come out. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now 13 to 7. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. 
on to the second quarter. Mexico City in possession as they've got it as we resume action. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Buenos Aires is about set for another try on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They're both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards there on the catch and run. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. It's Young on first down. That throw right side here going to be incomplete. No such risk in anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. And Young's throw there incomplete. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target, and it's third down. the punter Hecker as he gets this one away and the punt over the side in the air and the spot will be inside the 35 out is Mexico City now to go on offense a long drive last time out for this offense Charles if you remember they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone marched it down the field and a lot of that was through the passing game and partners a former defensive back I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now but Let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And he'll get this down to the 48-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. And now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Boy, you know, some plays you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. The Buenos Aires offense back out now. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. For Marshall, that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 23-yard line. Now a give, it's Hubbard going left. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up. 
up again at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. Young to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards that time for number 19. Another completion there. Uh, you know, we think about the draft back in the spring. He was selected, obviously, the number one overall pick. There's great money with that, but Charles, I would think maybe an extra burden too, or is that not that big of a deal at all? It actually is in the beginning of his career, an added burden. Oh, Young loses it. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Well, another completion there, and what a big moment in a young quarterback's life that first NFL started. Charles, obviously they want him to win games, but if they're looking at him under a microscope in this first month or so, what do you think they're hoping to see from him? Well, for every question they'll have for him, they should have for themselves as a coaching staff because it's not just how quickly can he learn the offense, it's what they can teach him, right? How can he build a relationship with his receivers? And, of course, how open is he to learning? And, of course, how open are they to giving him things that he can put in place on the field? And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. A Ritter's throw complete to Hollins. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Robinson will try to pick it up. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there, and it helps him move the sticks. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. J.C. Horn up to make the tackle. Here's a second and five. Ritter now looking to throw it this time. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Back to the ground with Robinson. To about the 48-yard line. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first and ten, it's Robinson. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. 
And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Ritter on first and ten. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. Kadero Hodge has it complete. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. This now a third and four. Stick it with a passing game. Here's Ritter again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Ritter now. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there. And it's caught. Touchdown. Drake London from 19 yards away. And the Golden Eagles are an extra point away from moving out in front in the final minute of the half. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum, don't I? <laughs> yes, you do. There is a heck of a difference between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big-time score and a big-time swing in momentum. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and that will give them the lead here as we get on towards halftime. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they... All right, tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw there, taken in by Hodge. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL.
It was a terrific first half from the former Cincinnati man, Desmond Ritter. He fired his guys into the lead with two first half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. But this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Third down and six. Ritter to throw it. And it is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. This is a nice job to just take him with the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Ritter. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. They're locked in man coverage at the left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. He's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw, Ritter. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that'll make this a seven-point game. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. And all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. Now, I would say that you pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept, kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. They'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook 
It's still open for the coordinator. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Third and short yardage, Young in trouble, and he's taken down. Arnold Ebikady in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. That found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. They begin the drive with Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 31, here's a second and eight. It's second and eight at the 31-yard line. Ritter off to play fake. Hitting London, coming across the field. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Ritter. Hard throw, incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. Buenasari is about set for another try on offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. That throw by Young incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches... Don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Ritter back to throw. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice shot there of keeping the toes inbounds. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. 
short throw to Smith. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Young. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Looking to throw. Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. So the false start will back them up five. False start. Awesome. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Young to throw it. Can't get away. And he's taken down. Kentavious Street. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. This rookie was already being tested as he tries to lead a comeback here in the second half. Now he's got to get some momentum back after that sack and a big loss. Now this one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. They'll run out of the gun. It's Hubbard. Give him two on the run. They need a lot more than that coming up here on third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. That means everyone on the offensive side of the ball. But someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Mexico City. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. Robinson up the middle. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Here's Ritter. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he goes down, but not before getting his inside the 25. That one goes for 30 yards. Despite running it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. 
quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Hand off now to Robinson. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15. And they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Ritter will set up to throw it. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the nine-yard line. Working from the gun, Ritter. Over the middle, caught by London. Hang on now, we're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Back to throw here. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play out. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Tyler Algier punching it in from a yard away. And the Golden Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense can miss too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And able to get this out to the 25. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And Young's throw there incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here is Young. On the slant, this is Chark. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll come up now, third and three. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. And this pass is caught by London. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era. We think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Ritter headed right off the option. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Out of the gun, here's Ritter. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open, now second down. 
Well, following the play here, now we've got an injury. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On the give, here's Robinson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. It's a gain of five, but they're still deep in a hole. 15 yards still to go on third down. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Buenos Aires offense back out now. now. If you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Young will set to throw. That one complete. He finds Sharp. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. A give up the middle. Hubbard. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. Young looks to throw on first down. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 29, here's second and a yard. Young now. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Again, it's Young. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Young checks this down to Hubbard. No gain on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. So that a nice throw, but it hasn't really turned out to be the grand debut that many had hoped for. His team's down double digits. So what have you seen, CD? About what I expected, really, because for a youngster making his first start in the NFL, I kind of expected to see these things. A few bumps along the way, maybe not the plays you expect to see or want to see. But remember, he's not going to the Hall of Fame off this first start. It's going to be an accumulation of games before we have a fully accurate reading. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. And fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things. Ritter has it knocked down. 
dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it. They were already within a shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. On the run, it's Robinson. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Ritter. Short throw to Smith. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to about the 19. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. The situation for him offensively as follows. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 55 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Pass complete, first. But he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Jeff Okuda, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense beat a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. Now, this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. The guy have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. On third down, Robinson. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Kuhn knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure ah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. For the Buenos Aires offense back out now. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. They'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And they'll get him down here at the 23. It's a pickup of six. Second down, Young. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Young is intercepted for the third time this game. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How'd things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. he's doing okay. 
Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? opening the season and you open within the division you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines one just executed better and earned the win so for mexico city that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season one and oh and they'll get to stay home again next week meanwhile for buenos aires they go down to defeat here in the opener and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.